We're, we're rolling? Yeah. Just like perfect for holidays all this season throughout and every kind of day afterwards and before and in between. <laughs> I was wondering how you were going to recite I don't know. That. I didn't know. Hey guys, I'm Abby Shar. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. For my Canadian viewers out there, I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving weekend. Obviously, there's so much to be thankful for this year. And I got out of Thanksgiving feeling overwhelmingly lethargic. I was like stuffed to the brim. I was feeling a little bit sick probably because I ate too much. And usually those sensations kind of start to fizzle off a few hours later when you wake up from the carb coma. But this one, this year, I was sick all Monday, I was sick all Tuesday, and here I am feeling that same way here on Wednesday. And that got me thinking, maybe this year it's not the food baby. Maybe it's the real baby. See what I did there? Yeah, yeah? Food baby, real baby, food baby, real baby. Folks, we are having a baby. So this is something that my partner and I have wanted for a long time. So there is nothing we are more thankful for this holiday season. This is really new territory for me, but I'm really excited to bring you guys along. So we're gonna be talking about, you know, my body changing and pregnancy cravings and morning sickness. The fun doesn't stop, folks. Today, I'm gonna share one of my favorite recipes that has really helped me get through the first trimester. This is my vegan stuffed butternut squash and cashew shells with a really yummy, creamy cashew and sage sauce. It is perfect for any of the holidays that are coming up, of course, but also really just for entertaining or stuff in your face at midnight because you're having a major craving. Trust me, I know. All right, guys, so let's do this. I add some shell pasta to a pot of boiling salted water and cook them according to the directions on the pack. Now we prepare the filling. I add some soaked cashews to a food processor and get them going, along with some almond milk, some lemon juice, and some cooked butternut squash. And I puree everything together until it's creamy and smooth. Then I add some olive oil to a pan along with some garlic and sage. Give that a good stir until everything starts to cook. Then I add in a ton of spinach and let it wilt down before adding it to the butternut squash and cashew filling. I also add in some vegan cheese and give it a good stir. Season it with some pepper and salt. And then I strain my pasta out now let's make sauce. I add my soaked cashews to the food processor along with some almond milk and some lemon juice. And I puree that until it's nice and smooth. Then I add some more olive oil to a pan along with some garlic and some more sage. Give it a good saute and then add in the creamy cashew mixture. Stir it around and add in some maple syrup, some cinnamon, pepper and salt and let it bubble away. Now we stuff the shells. I put all of the shells into a nice big casserole dish and I transfer my filling into a piping bag to make it easier to fill them. Then I squeeze it into each little shell. Top the whole thing off with some more vegan cheese. Pop it into a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. And look at that. Sauce those bad boys up and enjoy. Well guys, this stuffed shell right here is gonna get back to eating those amazing stuffed shells. If you loved this video, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with some of your favorite fall recipes for eating with your friends and family or for feeding your baby. I wanna know some of your amazing pregnancy-friendly recipes. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.